Hey, good morning, guys. Cliff London here again. I am just here to make a quick video this Friday because I want to say something about this whole uh, Caitlin Clark mess, okay? Now, I've been hearing that, uh, I've been reading uh, from your usual race pimps, race hustlers, that they say Caitlin Clark's name is being weaponized and uh, used to show racism against black women. And listen, this is just false in every sense of the word. I'm going to tell you what's really happened here. What you're actually witnessing is a huge amount of cope from racist black people, needy black people. Let me, I'm going to explain it to you this way, okay? Roll with me here. About 20 years ago, um, whenever race was brought up in regards to anything, uh, white people used to just kind of cower down and uh, even try to say, you, you know, like for example, a perfect example would be, uh, they like Caitlin Clark, right? Some black person chimes in with, well, when y'all love Caitlin Clark, make sure y'all show love for Andy Reese. You know, talking like slavery ended fucking yesterday. They say stuff like that. And the white person would go, oh, no, no, no. I also like black player, black player, black player, black player. In order to appease that black person and not be considered a racist. They did this in all things. I lived through it 20 years ago. Whenever race was brought up or the possibility of, ra of a white person was brought up being racist to them, they cowered. Well, that doesn't happen anymore. Rightfully so. You know, this new generation of white folk are saying, hey, I wasn't a part of slavery. My family wasn't a part of slavery. Actually, my family was very, very poor when they immigrated from Iowa or, I mean, not Iowa, Ireland. Uh, they're not doing that thing anymore. And I say, bravo, it's better for society, right? You know, I like the fact that white people are speaking up. So when when people started loving Caitlin Clark, I like Caitlin Clark and will probably watch more games just to watch her play. The ratings is good, you know, either way. They still get the revenue from me watching either way, right? But when Caitlin Clark first started bursting onto the scene and everything, you had all these black folks coming out trying to call her names, trying to say she looked like a man. Uh, talking about her character, calling her racist. Well, this time around, white folk did not cower. White folk decided to fight back. And let me tell you something. It is hilarious. They're no longer sitting around going, oh, 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 oh. So when these people start saying stuff about Caitlin Clark, white folk are saying, no, that's not true. And also they're saying, well, hey, uh, when, when black people say, well, when y'all love uh, Caitlyn Clark, just make sure you show love to Andy Reese. Well, well, why? Why? She's actually, uh, Andy Reese is a terrible role model. Showing her ass on the internet, hanging out with degenerate rappers, lying about being harassed for uh, racism, lying, um, all that shit. She's an unlikable character and also why should the standards be lowered for her? She's not in the same atmosphere in any shape or form as Caitlin Clark. Basically, she plays patty cake with the backboard. And she, re she rebounds her own missed shots. Now, I know there are a lot of black talking heads out there that are going to say, Well, you could at least talk about how even though she a rookie, she still managed to get double-doubles. Okay, so what you're saying is, is that effectively that I should lower the standard. You know, oh, they're two different kinds of players. Bullshit. Even if they are, they're all you're expected to know how to shoot a ball still. At least a little bit. And that's not the point anyway, because when it comes to game play, it's lower the standard for Angel Reese. However, she's better than Caitlin Clark, even with her lower standard. And it's just unequivocally not true. Nobody would know who, you know, she was if it wasn't. For Caitlin Clark and that goes for a lot of these other people that nobody even knew their name until Caitlin Clark got her shoe doing everything that's when all these uh black race start popping up we're like well what about this person how come she didn't get a shoe deal she been that uh Age Wilson been in the league I think what uh somebody tell me in the comments section she's been in the league a long time and you didn't hear nobody talking about her 
until Caitlin Clark got a shoe deal. Then they had to go, oh, you know, all these 20 somethings that talk about their lifelong fan, even though it's like, well, when the league first started, you weren't even born. Okay? All these people out there trying to call people racist because they are the ones, those ones that, that say you have to love something that they love just because you like Caitlin Clark. You know what that is? It's called being needy. It's called begging for acceptance and admiration that you didn't earn. Fuck y'all, no one has to just give credit to Andy Reese. Not if they don't want to. And I commend the white folks that aren't afraid to speak their mind anymore. It's not racist to say, you know, when you hear people in the comments and stuff or on various sporting networks, or if you go on X, when these people are saying all this stuff, They'll say, oh, well, she look like a man and somebody will chime in. At least she can shoot. And all these people start calling them racist. With their, how are you racist? How dare you say something back to us? Because they don't know how to cope with this new generation of white folk that speaks their mind. Now, your guy Cliff here is personally rooting for Caitlin Clark. I'm going to buy a jersey just to spite all them motherfuckers. Keep hooping, Caitlin. Block these people out. Way to go, Iowa. Enjoy your corn. Enjoy Caitlin Clark. And tune these loser racists out. Or keep talking back to them. They really hate that shit. That's all I got to say on this Friday morning. There is no greater fate but what we make for ourselves. I am Cliff London Uncensored. Happy Friday, everybody. Have a good day.